Hey everybody, the Vertical Saiyans here, I'm Jenna. And I'm Matt. And today we got the blue reveals for Destroyer Kings. Yay! We got Boo! We got more Boo support with I'm a new leader. <laughs> a new Dende leader. <laughs> new Dende doesn't mill. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it does. <laughs> Dende, why? <laughs> <laughs> it does mill. Oh my god, look at all that Boo support. Whoa. Vegito support and Hercule support. Hercule. <laughs> um, and then obviously a few extra cards. Ah, and then into the card list. Da 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 da. When it loads. Alrighty then, let's do it. So we got Dende as a leader. Um, so it's permanent. You cannot include extra cards with energy cost of four or more on your deck. And it can't attack. Right, okay. I was getting there, I should be in the first part still trying to process, but okay. Um, fair enough, I don't know what extra cards you would use, it costs four or more in a deck, but... World Peace. Oh. Uh, because you're Shenron. Oh yeah. Um, activate main, burst two, so you mill yourself a two, switch this card to rest mode, choose up to two Dragon Ball cards. Oh, so it does exactly the same thing as the other Dende that's yellow? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then you uh, flippy over and get desire. You do get a desire back, don't you? Choose up to one desire card. Yeah. <laughs> Not in the Mechian. You don't get in the Mechian. Okay, so activate main. So this is Sun Goku Energy Restored. Um, so activate main once per turn. Choose one. Draw a card. Choose one black, blue or black desire card from your hand of energy. Cast equal, yada, 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 yada. Um, seven Dragon Balls. Uh, da, 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 da. Choose... Draw two cards, then choose up two of your blue energy, as mentioned to active mode, and flip this card over the end of the turn. <coughs> hmm. So it can extend your plays and hope you killed on that turn. <laughs> yeah. I also just like the quick typo where it's like, choose one? Because as you can see, it's a question mark at the end of choose one. Alright. <coughs> this is what I look at, this is what I. Like, this is where I am. I'm just like, why have you mistyped? You're a rotten. Oh, at least they're, they're available in 2019. Oh, we can actually play them <laughs> off for life. <laughs> I better call my Crown Jax man, tell him not to bother. So, we have Margin Boo. He's back, babies. So, permanent. You can't send cards from your drop to the warp. Well, you can't send cards from drop areas to the warps. So. You can't send your opponent's stuff into the warp, nor can you send your own if it's in the drop, so you can't overrun. First. Okay. Um, <laughs> also, when this card attacks, draw a card. Nice. Uh, active main, once per turn, burst free. Choose one of your energy, you may place the chosen energy in your drop area. If you do, choose one margin boo card in your drop area and add it to your energy in rest mode. Okay. Interesting. And um, you awaken by drawing a card and switching one energy back to active mode. And so you're going to margin boot ability absorber. So again, permanent, you can't send cards from drop areas to warps. Uh, auto sparking seven, when this card attacks, draw a card and it gains 5,000 power for the duration of the turn. And active main once per turn, choose one of your energy, you may <coughs> place it in the drop, do choose up to one margin boot. Out your energy in rest mode. So swap out your energy, but it comes in in rest mode. So me, <laughs> If you take stuff from your drop and add it to margin boost, then it makes sense because yeah. you can put stuff under them that they need. True. We'll have to see what the rest of it does. I can't remember what some of the old stuff does. Um, okay, so we got Super Saiyan 3, Sun Goku pushing forward. So it's a free drop with 20k power. Got to point out the fact that it has 20k power because of the um, Gogeta. Yeah. So it can be played in Gogeta, which because it's around 20k power, that's really good for that deck. Um, burst 5, uh, at the end of your turn, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and place it at the bottom of the owner's deck, and then return this card to the owner's hand. That's really good. Hmm. The burst five I'm not too keen on. The rest of it's fine. Yeah, it, it messes with their drop, and you can add it to your hand so you've got combo piece and energy, or just bring it back out next turn. 
Mm. Unless you're the board. We'll play battle cards. Oh, battle cards. Drop. Oh, yeah, that's really good then. Yeah. And then he goes back in hand for next turn if you want to either replay it or um, use it for good yeah. data. So, really good overall. Hmm. Uh, so we have <coughs> Sun Goku Spirit Forger. It's a 2.5k power. It has barrier. Uh, um, this card gets 5,000 power for each card placed under it. And you can only play battle cards that are blue and no other colour. Okay. Um, so, <coughs> action main once per turn. Place a card from the top of your deck and this card. <coughs> right there, bud. Sorry. <laughs> If seven or more cards are placed under this card, it gains triple strike for a duration of turn. Oh, I see. So I can swing for 40 triple strike. Yeah, so you make it a 40k triple strike and beat stick. And until that point, you just leave him in active mode. Because if he's in rest, your opponent will kill it. Yeah. Plus they've got barrier, so they <coughs> have to get around barrier. Now just play Jira in order for free drop for Jira and pack it in active mode. Yeah, well... Or the Gohan. Alright, it's not a flawless plan. <laughs> the opponent plays Yamcha and it's just like, whatever. <laughs> um, Alright, so we got Saiyan Duo, Sun, Goku. So it's a two drop with 1k power. Okay, yeah, definitely 1k power. I've got to double check reading that, right? Um, so opponent, if Saiyan Duo for Jira is in playing in battle area, this card gains 9,000 power. So it becomes 10k, okay. Uh, so auto, when you play this card, you may choose one card from your hand to place it in your drop area. If you do, choose up to one Saiyan Duo Vegeta from your deck or drop area, play it in rest mode, then shuffle your deck if you look through it. So you can just, if you don't want to go through your deck, you can just discard the Vegeta from hand and then play it. Hmm. Is one option. Yeah. Because you discard first, and then you search it. Which is good. Like, it works out for um, Union for Taurus, doesn't it? Because you have two targets straight away. Yes. Yeah, because if you just play Pay 2, bring us out, use the fact discard the Vegeta, then use the. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. It works out. Uh, so we have Sun Gohan Ability Attain. It's a free drop 19k power, and it has dual attack. Pretty nifty. Cool. Awesome. <laughs> Long for the old boost stuff that used to take uh, Gohan's Betty underneath it. Which is the point of it. Which yeah. why it only has dual attack. Yeah. So it helps that. It helps the Buhan deck. Um, so we got Vegeta... Oh yeah, I'm not even going to try. Something Martyr. <laughs> Penitent Martyr? Um, I don't know. Oh. Uh, <laughs> so it's a free shot of 20k power. Um, again, also 20k. Good thing. Auto sparking three, so it does. It's not a burst, which is fine. But that, that other one was a burst, wasn't it? I'm just yeah. going to double check that. Yes, that one was a burst. Right. Okay. Um. Da, da, da. At the end of your turn, place his cards in its owner's drop area. Then choose all your opponent's battle cards and return them to owner's hands. That's pretty funny. Yeah, but it says choose though. Hmm. So you're only probably going to be able to pick maybe two to three cards, if that. Yeah. Because, let's face it, a good portion of most people's decks these days have barrier. Yeah, it's very easy to just build stuff with barrier in its, like, text. Yeah, or give something barrier. Yeah. So, uh, well, I say a good portion of people's decks have barrier. It's, it feels like it. Really does feel <laughs> like it sometimes. At this rate, everyone's going to have barrier. <coughs> it must just be the people I'm playing against. It's just, yeah, barrier, barrier, barrier. Or it's just, like, the timings. But either way, it's still really good, because the opponent doesn't have a board of barrier. It's just like... <laughs> well, if it doesn't have barrier, they have to replay. Yeah, and it's not restrictive on what you bounce back. Yeah. So your opponent could be like bringing out their big things, and then he's like, "Okay, I'll pay free, bring this guy, I'll put it back in your hand." <laughs> Does your big six drop that kills me have barrier? No, you may have it back. <laughs> <laughs> can't touch Gogeta, which is a shame. Yeah, well, there's some things you can't touch, but other things you could, which is good. Yeah. Uh, so we have Saiyan Duo Vegeta. So two drop with one K power. 
Opponent, uh, whilst this card is in play, you cannot, you can't play non-Vegito battle cards. Okay. Opponent uh, again, the same deal with Son Goku's in your battery, gains 9k power. And auto, when you play this card, choose one of your blue energy and switch it to active mode. That's really good with the Goku, because it doesn't save from hand, it just says when you play it. Yeah, <clears throat> I think that's the point of it though. Yeah. <coughs> um, the the first tournament. Mm, mm. <laughs> it, it sets up for the. You basically got a Patora straight away, if you want to be able to make any other plays with other cards that aren't Pajito. <laughs> yeah, but I think you would if you like, especially if you get an energy back. Yeah, true. Eh. Anyway, uh, so you got Fujito at full throttle. So there's a full drop. Full drop? Bleh! Four drop? Bleh! <laughs> Fujito at full throttle. <laughs> oh my days. <coughs> so it's got 25k power. Double strike dual attack. Ew. Ew. Yeah. <laughs> uh, permanent. This card can only be played from energy areas. What? Okay. Uh, also, when you play this card, choose one of your opponent's battle cards with barrier, ignoring barrier and returning it to his own hand. You're trying to work out the payment, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, cool. Not bad effect. No. <coughs> oh, okay, I see where, I see where it comes into now. So we have um, Vegito powers combined. Say so three drop 20k power. So Union Patrol for one energy with a Goku and a Vegeta, which would probably be the duo because you get the energy back if you play the Vegeta, so you can just pay it immediately to go into Vegito. Um, also, when you play this card, draw a card, and if this card was played using Union, draw an, draw an extra card. It says draw one more, draw one more card, but the same difference. Um, so, active main, pay 2 energy, choose one Vegito card other than Vegito powers combined with an energy cost less than or equal to your current energy from your energy and play it. If you play the card, add this card to your energy in rest mode. So that's how you get the other one out. Yeah. But it goes back, that goes into your energy in rest mode. Uh, uh, they put them in rest mode to balance it. Yeah. But at the same time, it's really annoying. <laughs> It's annoying, but you just, the Vegito that comes up from energy, you tap to do the effect. So you you literally are just swapping it out. Yeah. Okay, so we've got Vegito, world's strongest candy. So two drop with 15k power. Tournament, this card can only be played from energy areas. So it has the same restriction as the other one. Um... Also, when you play this card, you can't play Vegito World's Strongest Candy for the duration of a turn. Okay, fair enough. Activate main, choose up to one Vegito powers combined in your energy and play it. If you play the card, add this card to your energy and rest mode. Oh, I see some multi attacking going on here. <clears throat> yeah, if you can afford the energy. Well, yeah. But you get this guy, get him to swing, go into candy. Get candy swing, go back into this guy, and you can go into this. Or you could just potentially hop back and forth between these two. Wait, right, no. Uh, That's once per turn. Yeah. But you can just do like a three two times. Three card combo. Yeah. From your energy. Three card combo that gives you four attacks, which is pretty nice. Ready for this one. So we have Goku, the ultimate option. See, 5 drop with <coughs> 1,001 power. What I point out, it has a 1 at the end. So, auto, when you play this card, choose 1. You can either gain triple strike for duration of turn, gain triple attack for duration of turn, or gain 30k power for duration of turn. Uh, turn. <coughs> Um, just no. <laughs> I can't come to the special trait Delusion Warrior as well. 
Just no. It's so weird. Just no. <laughs> Okay, um, so we got Boo Boo Volleyball Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks. It's a super combo, um, but it's a uh, Sparking 5 one. And your leader has to be blue. But it has the free 10k combo thing. Yeah. So, basically it. So we've got Hercule Smile Nod. It's a one drop with one power. <laughs> <laughs> The ultimate Hercule. Uh, when you come with this card, choose one blue Son Goku card in your battle here and place one card from the top of your deck under it. Oh. So we're going to speed up though. Speeds up the other one. Yeah. I just love how it has one power. Like, how much would you love to just bait your opponent with that? Just being like, swing for one. Okay, it's like cool. I'll throw this in, I'll throw Champa, I'll throw this. Now it's super buff. <laughs> yeah, your opponent's only got like four card hands and then you kill them with this. <laughs> you kill them with the <coughs> one drop Hercule. Just no. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Granted, I did kill you with Roshi, but that's more understandable. Yeah, <laughs> Roshi's got power. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> oh man, I hate winter. <laughs> right, so we've got Margin Boo, the intensifying evil. So it's a free drop with 19 power, two of it being blue. Permanent, this card, if this card would be removed from your battle area by an opponent's skill, you may choose two cards from your hand and place them in the drop area instead. Okay. Uh, auto, when this card attacks, choose onto one of your opponent's battle cards with ancient cost of four or less and place it at the bottom of the owner's deck. Okay, so board clearers. Activate main, pay one blue and one colorless. If you lead a card, it's margin, margin card. Okay. Uh, if you have three or more energy, choose one margin boo card with an energy cost of four from your deck. <coughs> Not your deck, your energy area. Why do I say deck for? It's auto brain. Um, from your energy area and play it. If you play the card, add this card to your energy in rest mode. That makes sense with the leader abilities now. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Like, yeah, from your energy area, so it's doing the same thing as the Vegito. It could just pick itself from your energy. <coughs> oh. <coughs> oh man. So we have unadulterated evil margin boo. See, 2 drop 5k power. Uh, auto, when you play this card from your hand, shoot it to one blue margin boo margin from your drop out and add it to your hand. And Active main, pay one energy. If your lead card is margin, choose one blue margin boo with an energy cost of three from your energy area and play it. If you play the card, add this to your energy in rest mode. So, I think that's a quick way of getting the free drop out. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, and then you just go, yeah, okay. I think you do the free drops effect. Yeah, okay. Okay, so we've got quick shift and margin boo. It's a four drop with 20k. Also, when you combo with this card, if your leader card is blue, you may choose two cards from your hand and shuffle them into your deck and draw two cards. It costs one combo for 10k. Okay, yeah. so blue's getting their own version of that card now. I, yeah, I think Quick Shift's just another one of those like things that could be a staple. Because they're all called Quick Shift whatever, so... Yeah, it's like the Deadly Defenders. Yeah. So we have Margin Boo, Prelude to Villainy. See, so one drop 4k power. Uh, auto burst three. When you play this card, your lead card is a margin. Choose one card from life and add to your hand. So self awakening. Yep. Yep. <coughs> uh, Active main. Choose one blue margin boo card in your energy, other than prelude to villainy. Add it to your hand. If you do, add this card to your energy in rest mode. Which is pretty good. Because you can do that. Maybe attack with it and then just switch it out. Yeah, they're all just going back and forth, aren't they? Yeah. <coughs> Alright, so we got Deborah, which is 3 drop 2 of it being blue, it's just a vanilla of 30k power. Which we've seen in this current set, there's something to actually support the nerds, so. Blue potential. Yeah. Uh, so we have Font of Spirit, so you 1 cost extra card. Uh, permanent, it gives desires in all areas. And Active Main, 
If your lead card is a blue Shenron, choose one blue Saiyan card and you drop out a 15k or less power with an energy cost of 2 or less and play it. If you do, place the top card of your deck under the card you played with this skill. So it's a nice little way to fill up that Goku. Yes. <coughs> wow. Okay. Um, so we got Bring Back Boo. Four drop. Uh, extra card, one of them being blue. Activate main. Sparking 10. Bloody I mean, hell. <laughs> if your leader card is a margin card, if you have five more energy, choose up to one blue margin boo card, energy cost of four or less. Or one red margin boo card, energy cost card from your energy area and play it. Right, okay, so okay. So card of energy cost four or less, or one red margin boo card with energy from your yeah from your energy and play it. Why is that my, my brain? Um okay. So you can support the red so it's more red blue with this card. Uh, if you played a card, choose up to one battle card in your drop area, place it under the card you, uh, you played with this skill. So, boom hold. Yeah. Basically. Uh, so we have Dawn of Evil. You see, one cost extra card. So, auto, when you activate this card, you can't activate another cost for the duration of the turn. And, active main. If your lead card is margin, Look at the t up to 10 cards on top of your deck. Choose one blue margin boo with an edge cost of 3 or less among them out of your hand. Then shuffle the deck. If you added a card to your hand, uh, choose one of your blue energy and switch to active mode. Damn. That's a really good searcher. So you play it for free? Yeah. Basically. Only if you <coughs> added a card. If you can't add yeah. anything, then... Well, yeah. Alright, so the last extra card is a uh, counter, um, cost 1. If your leader card is blue, negate the attack, then choose one of your opponent's battle cards, and then cost 2 or less, and return to the owner's hand. So it's, uh, blah 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 blah, uh, what's that one, the uh, energy something, the computer, from set 1, the green one, so you just pay 1, kill the 1 cost. Uh, well, you... This one you add back to the hand, so it's uh, just... Yeah, bouncing. but it's similar. I'm yeah. trying to say that it's similar. I guess. It's but so instead of killing it, it's bouncing it. Seems like a good option for Harutagon. Okay. <laughs> County attack. Cool. Right. Uh, my turn. Swing with Vegeta. Yeah. Oh, I'm probably dead. Swing with Harutagon. <laughs> 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 Ah, uh, that's pretty cool. Alright then guys, so that is the uh, blue cards from the Destroyer Kings. So on February 8th is the SRs! Woo! Yay! And I was hoping for Janemba support, but it looks like I'm not getting that. We still have SRs! It's only going to be one card. It's not good enough. <coughs> Oh, we got the campaign rare card, whatever the hell that is. Um, yeah, cool. Well, some interesting stuff there. Yeah. Uh, and guys, so thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Bye.